This video is an introduction to the databases in Power Library, which is Pennsylvania's electronic library of approved and appropriate resources for research and for information gathering. A database simply compiles information and allows you to access it, whether it's through a book, magazine, a professional journal, or some other source. So let's take a look at two different ways to get to the Power Library databases. The first one is in the address bar, powerlibrary.org, P-O-W-E-R-L-I-B-R-A-R-Y.org. You go immediately to the Power Library homepage. <clears throat> Under find, you would do either help me choose or list all e-resources, which are electronic resources. We're going to do list all e-resources because it gives you the alphabetical list of each one. I'm going to do a brief overview today and we're going to go into more videos on specific ones for your research in future videos. Many of them are geared toward college or adult level reading. So you want to read the annotation, which is the description of each one. The name and link for each one are on the left. AP Newsroom is one we're going to take a look at. If you happen to hang out with somebody who enjoys repairing automobiles, I would suggest that you show off a little bit of your knowledge and show them how to get to this database. They might find it very interesting. Primary resources on specific topics can be found not only as a specific database, but as within each database also, and each power library source. So if you are doing a lesson on primary sources, don't forget to look here. Bookflix, most of you already know. It's nice to see something familiar. We will also take a look at Gale and Context Elementary. Uh, this is appropriate for kindergarten through age five, but frankly, anybody can use it. Health and Wellness is another one we're going to look at. Lit Finder is kind of interesting if you need to just find specific poems or parts of short stories, essays, etc. We'll also take a look at Middle School and News. Power Search allows you to go through all of the ones that say Gale and do your search there. So if you are working with an adult and you want to do it that way, that's a good way to do it. A lot of the answers, the database results will come up and you'll have to figure out which ones are suitable for your reading level, though. Now, I mentioned there's another way to get to these databases. If you go to the York County Libraries homepage, which is yorklibraries.org, Y-O-R-K-L-I-B-R-A-R-I-E-S.org, that ought to sound familiar because you do your card catalog search through there too. But in this case, you want to do what can I do, view online resources, and here you have a couple of choices. But for right now, we're going to look at the one that says for kids. <clears throat> Research databases will give you a few more, but they will be all of them for all reading levels. You'll notice that there are some here that are not part of Power Library, like Access 360, which is our electronic reading and audio program, as is Hoopla. Beanstack, which is where you log your reading minutes in the summer when you do your summer programs. Ben's Guide to the U.S. Government, we're definitely going to take a look at. Obviously, Booksplix is there. Comics Plus Library Edition is a fun one for you. And you'll notice that it's not part of Power Library. So my point in going to the York Libraries website was that York County Libraries also purchases the rights to use a lot of other databases, not just the ones from Power Library. So you have Power Library resources in here. There's your Gale one, but you also have ones that are not part of Power Library. So your York County Libraries website, what can I do? View online resources is an excellent place to go for more information and more fun things to do too. 